Hi everyone. Me, in my infinite wisdom, apparently deleted my last video. <laughs> Alright. Making this one. Well, the ones before this one. I mean, since I am a little bit challenged on the whole editing and making it fancy stuff, I need to, like, be filming a bunch of little videos and make sure that I like them. Anyway, so my last video was about Mod 7 and an REMT. For who didn't watch it, Mod 7 was basically um, mass casualties and what to do and how to tag them and all that kind of cool stuff. And then we had a test um, within a day, maybe a day and a half. So it was super quick, not that much information to, um, to, to retain. So, I mean, there was a lot of important information, but a day and a half was plenty to get down whatever we needed to, to have um, to pass the test. Then uh, a couple of days later, we did our national um, registry for EMT. And then a week later, uh, well, a little shorter than that, like a couple of days later, we did uh, our skills. So I'm gonna break it down on Mod 7 really fast, really not that difficult and not that much information to um, to have to hold on to for the test. However, the information was pretty, pretty important. So you will be fine for Mod 7. Mod 7 is not that bad. Now in our EMT, in the other hand, if you're not preparing for it since, you know, the beginning, you might have a little bit of an issue. So make sure to be practicing, use resources, uh, there's plenty of resources, just to name a few. There's pocket prep, there is med medic test, and um, those two were what I used to prepare, and I passed an RMT on the first try. Um, also, it's very important to understand all the material that you're going to be um, encountering during the mods, so make sure to get like good grades during the mods as well. Um, now skills, <laughs> oh my God. skills, uh, all I can tell you about skills is practice, 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 right? Skills is going to be a mix of you have steps that you need to follow, you have words that you need to say, and you have the actions that you need to perform. So skills is basically the, you know, the holy grail here. You need to um, be tested on the hands-on segment after you learned everything in the theory. So practice, practice, practice. That's what's gonna make you successful in skills. There isn't much that I can say about it, you know, due to if I say everything, then you're not gonna, you know, the surprise, it's the best part. So. Um, I'm just going to tell you that it's, it's, it's a very big failure rate, you know, something very ridiculous, something like, for instance, 27 students, you're going to have seven or eight that will pass. So uh, no pressure, you know? So yeah, no pressure. <laughs> anyway, um, overall is a very, very challenging first, um, part of training and if you are coming to this training or if you are in this training as I said do well on the mods do your study on the side for the NREMT and practice your skills that's um, the best um, advice I can give you there's no way you can pass skills without practicing it because of the hands-on you just need to do it right so get some friends together, make a day out of it, make a week out of it, make several weeks out of it, even better, um, but practice, okay? Um, let me know if you guys have any questions and let me know if you have, um, if you want me to do any kind of videos about whatever you're interested in and I'll try to make it happen, okay? All right, bye.